Thanks for tuning in on Brock Page, and if you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, I'm not a sports betting expert, I'm just a fan. That said, let's go ahead and get into some picks for the 31st. Sacramento at Houston. The betting opened up with Sacramento at just not plus 9.5, but has since jumped up to 12.5 and, and rising. The total points opened up at 224 and have jumped up to 225 and a half. On a side note, we almost have ourselves an even split as 52% of the money is currently on the Kings to win against the spread. Projected scratches, none for Houston, Rudy Gay for Sacramento. All that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some numbers against the spread. Houston holds a slight advantage overall, covering 57% of their games overall, with Sacramento right behind at 53%. On the road, Sacramento covers 56%, Houston just 50% at home. As the underdog or pick em, the Kings cover 56%, while as the favorite, Houston's covering 54%. Sacramento's covering a ridiculous 100% of their games at the current spread, while Houston's covered a staggering 83% themselves. As the official road underdog, the Kings are 13-9 against the spread, while Houston's gone 11-9. Here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Against teams winning less than 45%, Houston covers an impressive 71% of those games. And along with successfully covering the spread in their first two matchups, Houston's 57% against the spread facing teams giving up more than 102 a game. Now before I make my pick on this game, let's go ahead and break down the total points real quick. Once again, the total opened up at 224 and has jumped up to 225.5. Both teams have collectively averaged 230 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. Even more, Sacramento games have gone over the line in their last five straight. Having said all that, I'm not really concerning myself with the spread in total points today. I do like that money line cash, and although there's not a lot of it to be made on this game, this game's perfect for game one of my two-teamer. I'm taking the Houston Rockets to win this one outright for game one of my two-team parlay. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and slide into my second game, and that is going to be OKC at San Antonio. The betting opened up with San Antonio as the nine-point favorites with the total points at 213.5. Currently, San Antonio is now minus 8.5 with the line dropping down three points to 210.5. On a side note, 64% of the money is currently on OKC to win against the spread. Tonight's projected scratches are Cantor for OKC, Simmons and Gasol for the Spurs. That said, let's go ahead and break down the numbers against the spread real quick. San Antonio holds a slight advantage against the spread overall, covering a decent 58% of their games this season. At home, the Spurs cover an acceptable, that's right, acceptable 52% of those games as well. As the favorite, San Antonio is covering a decent 54%, while on the other side, OKC's covered just 35% as the underdog. At the current point spread, the Spurs cover an acceptable 54% of their games, while OKC covers just 40% in that category. Speaking of OKC, they've covered a measly 33% of their games as the official road underdog. OKC also struggles to cover against good teams, covering just 7 out of 17 games against teams winning more than 55%. All that said, let's go ahead and break down the total points real quick. Once again, the total points opened up at 213.5 and, and have dropped down to 210.5. OKC games have failed to go over the line in two of their last six. Even more, both teams have collectively averaged just 207 total combined points in their last four games respectively. Having said all that, I'm going to go ahead and forego the spread and the total points. I'm going to pick a winner. You might be surprised that I am taking OKC to lose this one on the road. I like the San Antonio Spurs to win this one outright as game two of my two-teamer. Once again, I'm taking San Antonio to win outright as the second game of my two-game parlay. With my two-teamer in the books... There's still plenty of other action in the NBA, so let's go ahead and dive into some of those matchups. New York at Washington. Along with successfully covering in the first two matchups, Washington has just put up exceptional numbers against the spread so far this year. The total points have dropped down drastically 
to an even 217. Both teams are collectively averaging 218 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. Those numbers on the total points, they're a little bit too tight for me. That said, I like Washington at home here. I want to move that line a little bit, however. I'm going to go ahead and take the Washington Wizards minus two and a half in a five-point teaser. Once again, Washington wins against the adjusted spread at minus two and a half. That's going to go ahead and bring us into our next game, which is New Orleans at Toronto. We have an even split on where the money's going in this one. The Pelicans did upset the Spurs and the Cavs all within one week last week. Toronto is a little bit of a, uh, on a skid themselves. Remarkably, there are no projected scratches on either side in this game as well. The total points dropped just half a point down to 214.5, with both teams averaging 215 total combined points in their last four respectively. That said, Toronto's put up some really good numbers against the spread this year, and those numbers are significantly better than those of New Orleans. Tough to win up north. I'm going to forget about the total points and the money line. I'm just going to go ahead and take the Toronto Raptors minus two and a half in a teaser. Once again, Toronto wins against the adjusted spread at minus two and a half in a five-point teaser. Next game I have for you, one of the late games, we have Charlotte at Portland. Portland's favored by four and a half at home. That said, they haven't been great against the points this year, covering just three of nine against teams winning around 500 percent, 500 win percentage. On the other side, Charlotte's covered an impressive 67% of their games at the current spread. When it comes to the line, both teams have collectively averaged 219 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. Also, the line opened up at 215.5 and, and has dropped down to an even 214. That said, I'm not concerned about the total points or the money line. I would like to tease that spread, though. I'm taking Charlotte plus 9.5 in the teaser. Once again, Charlotte wins against the adjusted spread at plus nine and a half in a five-point teaser. That's going to take us into our final game for the show, and it's the second late game. Denver minus two and a half at the LA Lakers. Along with covering in their first matchup, Denver's been great against the spread on the road, covering a solid 61% of their games. On the other side, the Lakers have covered just 11 of 24 at home. On the total points... They opened up pretty high at 228 and has since dropped just half a point. With that in mind, both teams are collectively averaging just 210 total combined points in their last four games respectively. The under seems like a lock here, but I'm going to just forego the total points and the money line in this one. I like the Denver Nuggets plus two and a half in the teaser. Once again, Denver wins against the adjusted spread at plus two and a half in a five point teaser. Well, folks, that's going to do it for me. Once again, <laughs> I have to remind you that uh, I'm not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. But if for some reason you do actually decide to use the information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Predictions and Sports Picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.